Hey, my friends, please be aware that on this particular episode, there is quite a bit of static. You're still easily able to understand and listen to everything that I'm sharing. So don't let that be a deterrent to you. Just press through it. Please forgive us. We attempted to edit it out. It is a little bit of a mystery to us as to why it's there. But please stay with this episode. It's very important. Thanks for your patience. Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCready, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCready. Today's episode is a call to all skilled craftsmen to present themselves ready and energized to help to build the house of God, the house that God is building right now. There are those that have to present themselves beforehand to get ready for when God really begins to pour out for a great awakening that's about to happen in his people. So take a listen, and I know that as a skilled craftsman, I know you'll heed the call. If ever there was a time that we need skilled craftsmen in the body of Christ, it is now. You know, in the Old Testament, whenever there was building to be done, especially in the house of God, in the temple, um, there was a call that went out for skilled craftsmen to present themselves to that building project to bring their skill and their ability uh, to the table, to to bring their skill sets and to see uh, the building project go from vision to reality, to go from the, the blueprint to the actual substance of the building. And if ever there is a time that we need those who know that God has put uh, gifting and life within them for the purposes of building his house. And when I talk about building his house, I mean building the people because it is the sons of God who are the living stones. And if ever there is a time for the building via the slow fire of real true discipleship, where we really and truly begin to see that building people who are the greatest resource in the kingdom of God, when we finally see that that's where our time and our focus could be spent, then I believe that we will be concerned less with the sometimes the immensely burdensome overhead of all the other things that go on that take up so much of the time and money and energy in the kingdom of God. And we will begin to organically spend time together investing in the lives of those whom God has given us influence with, and we will become skilled craftsmen in the body of Christ. This is a word that God has been speaking to me again and again as I have been doing uh, the Producer's Way School in Poland. Uh, I will finish that, that first phase of the school uh, in November when I travel back to Poland. I took nine people from four different churches that presented themselves for their, their own personal work. They first let God be the craftsman of all craftsmen in their own life. And, and then the hunger within them to begin to pass on life and to be a full participant in what God is doing in this hour of history within his church. Uh, they they want to present themselves to now get skilled in what it means to identify with God in what he is doing in people's lives. For far too long, we've tried to cater to what people think they need or to what we think they need. Um, and 
there there has to come the, the point where we realize, God, forgive us. What is it, Father, that you are wanting to do in people's lives? And I now want to align myself with you and identify myself with you in what you're doing. And to allow you to begin to hone the skills that you've put within me. You know, when you look back over your life and you think, wow, you know, I don't know why I worked at this particular place for two years and then maybe I was here and there. Listen to me, my friends, you've been gathering skill sets all along the way. And I'm going to submit to you that ultimately it's going to be (laughs) that which is going to further the actual assignments that God has for you right now. None of it is a waste if you turn and let God use all of that to make you an an, an amazing, skilled craftsman in the building of the church that he has in his heart. I'm going to very carefully submit to you that that church doesn't look anything like what we've seen in the past. If you'd like information on how to book Nancy McCready for an event or speaking engagement, visit nancymccready.com. And she's going to begin to emerge. But that's going to be because there are skilled craftsmen. Yes, apostles, teachers, pastors, prophets, evangelists. To the body of Christ at large and locally. In, in each local church that's called of God, that these um, skilled craftsmen begin to emerge because we are called to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. We are not called to only be focused on ourselves. And I have publicly done this, and I want to do this right here, that I want to repent for in years past when we focused on building our own ministries to the point of of almost ignoring the raising up of the body of Christ, that she sat malnourished at times because she wasn't being poured into by these skilled craftsmen, wasn't being raised up, wasn't being matured, fed, nurtured, corrected, instructed, disciplined, um, you know, relationally connected to the point where she began to arise and to emerge because many times the the fivefold ministry and the skilled craftsmen were interested in building their own ministry but you see the, the true skilled craftsmen know that God takes care of them feeds them, nurtures them, pours into them, makes them more skilled, sharpens them, pummels them, deals with them, cleanses them, purges them, brings the fire of God to deal with them, to discipline them, to turn their center from themselves to the Father so that we will truly be skilled craftsmen in His hands to build the people of God that we would serve their destiny with the Father, that they may be raised up now, poured into, that they may become also skilled craftsmen. There is going to be such a massive work of building his church. And this will be the church that the gates of hell will not prevail against because they will be sons of a breed that will not uh, fall for whatever the world has to offer because they have truly been dealt with by the cross inwardly and their hearts are truly for his kingdom, his church, his way, his purposes. That we truly want to win for the lamb the rewards of his suffering. That we really want Jesus to see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. You know, I haven't mentioned it in a long time, but I have a seven-foot spear in my office that was given to me many, many years ago. The name of my spear is Enough is Enough. 
and it's called the Spear of Jealousy out of Numbers 25. And wherever I go, whenever I speak, and whenever I share, somewhere in all of that, there's always being thrust through that, this Spear of Jealousy, to capture a company of jealous sons for the Father through the finished work of Jesus, by the person and power of Holy Spirit. And I am definitely thrusting that spear today as I say this. We need all the skilled craftsmen that we can. We need them all. All that we can get. To spend our time pouring into the people of God by the love of God for the purposes of God. And we must present ourselves for that um, training, that sharpening, uh, for the relational connections that that will happen through, that we can be truly a house prepared so that we can be ready, that we can be ready when God really begins to pour out and bring people home to himself. There has to be skilled craftsmen who get themselves ready before the true outpouring. The awakening has to happen in us first so that we get ready. Pay the price, my friends, and get ready now. So I'm just speaking to all of you skilled craftsmen out there. If this resonates with you, then I want you to just take heed and listen to him carefully. Get connected, whether that's with me or with someone else, but begin to get serious about becoming skilled, sharp, effective, fruitful in all that it is that he's called you to. Don't just be busy. Don't just be a volunteer. It's time for the sons of God to take their place in the house of God. He's put skills within us, and then he has to mature us as a people so that our giftings will be broken. Everything about us will be broken, meaning they will not be fueled by selfish ambition or just by the natural strength um, of the self. But even our giftings must be touched by the cross so that they serve only the purposes of the Father. And that's what we seek. So be encouraged today. And I pray that you'll heed this call. It's time for all skilled craftsmen in the house of God to come, present yourselves to him. Let him prepare you. Let him get you ready. Because we have a lot of work to do. But it is our Father's work. And it first begins in us, and then I pray to God, it then passes through us with a sharpness and effectiveness. And so I'm putting this call out, and I pray that you will heed it. Love you all. Talk to you soon. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady.com.